Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rachakodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who were well, taught us this truth, warned us of the things to come, the thing you see and happening now, all the prophecies you see coming into play, such as World War III, uh, the Mark of the Beast, which is the RFID microchip, race riots, martial law, earthquakes in diverse places, pestilences, and so on and so forth. All right. So, brother, that would die here. All right. Peace and salutations to the hopeful like out here pushing this truth and sincerity. Um, you know, we love you. We appreciate you to the spirit of Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, Shalom. It's your brother, Dawah, Dawah, here. And uh, Abarat, the Zadmi, his father's will. You know, this is an edifying lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, all right? We're the world ignorantly calls God. His name is Yahweh, which means he is. Spoken of in, Reve um, in Exodus chapter 3, verse 14 and 15. We're the world ignorantly calls God. Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai, which means he is the savior or he is the deliverer, okay? If you're watching this now, you're a so-called black Native American or Latino man or woman. You're a Hebrew Israelite according to the Holy Bible, all right? And um, you know, for, for those of you watching this video now, we're just going to talk about uh, the, the love of this world, all right? And, um, you know, basically, things that are here in this world, they're not going to be around. For, for much longer man all right so you know if you're watching this now and and, and you find yourself saying you know, i need to you know get rich get famous you know if you're thinking about your future in this world then um that's not that's not really see that's not the spirit of the heavenly father you know we'll get some scripture on that because a lot of these these people in the world, man, they they only care about really they care about themselves, and there's there's no love, really there's no love amongst the people in this world. All right, the two thirds, and um, you know these other nations, they really are, are actually out for self. They really don't care about you. They don't care about you know you don't even care about some of the people that you that you so called claim to love, you know because constantly, you know especially the two thirds, our people we have curses on us so. Our people are like crabs in a barrel, man. You know, that's why in the ghettos and the hoods, you see a drug dealer, um, a prostitute, you know, or, or a thief. You know, these people are they're crabs in a barrel, man. They, they hold each other down, man. Or, or other people you have constantly always hitting you up, asking you for money and whatnot, always asking for a favor. That's people that hold you back, man. Crabs in a barrel, you know. And when they do ask to hang out with you, they always want to just smoke weed or drink. Or go to the clubs all the time. This is this is uh stuff that's gonna hinder you from following the heavenly father, which is gonna be which is ultimately what? Making you a crab in a barrel, man, which means your salvation is at stake. You know? So um you gotta get out of that mind frame of, of, of this world and trying to please this this world and please this flesh. You know? You know, and I mean we are in the flesh, so we're gonna we're gonna mess up. You know, that goes that goes without a doubt, but um you know, try to lock into the spirit as much as possible. You know, the Heavenly Father, because Romans, hey, what was it? Romans uh, 11 and 13, I believe. Let me get that real quick. Let's lock here. Romans chapter 13 and 11 says, and that knowing that, knowing, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. And you people are and you people are asleep, man. All right? All you want to do is go out to the clubs, you know, get with other get with women, and these women want to get with men and, and show your ass off and shake your butt for men, different men, you know, and show off your jewelry, you know, show your outfit off. But you know it's funny because you know, and the scripture said that the fashion this world this world shall um fade away. But you know, it's funny because while you're doing these things, there's this there's a lot of things <laughs> there's a lot of things going on, alright, that you're missing out on. Alright? There's there's a lot of key components to this life, man, that you need to uh you know, while you're shaking your ass in the clubs, you women and you niggas trying to trying to impress, impress these women, these whack ass women, you you, uh, you there's things going on that you don't pay attention to, all right? 
these little distractions that you have out here in the world, you're, you're, you're not paying attention that there's about to be a race riot out here pretty soon. You're not paying attention that World War Three is about to, about to occur. You're not really paying attention that martial law is about to ensue, all right? Because when these things happen, there's going to be lots of death and destruction going on across the world, across America, right at your front door, all right? You're going to be able to walk outside your door if you even are in your door because you might have martial law troops coming to kick your door down and take you out of them and put you in the concentration camps to torture you, all right? But if you do happen to walk outside your door, you're going to see nothing but death and destruction. There's going to be lots of blood laid in, 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 the, in the streets all right and are you prepared for that all you want to do is go out all the time all right you never want to study ever you know you niggas never want to read the bible you know you motherfuckers like to sell drugs you know you got damn witches scripture says suffer not uh suffer not a wish to live all right so you, you know if you're doing all that stuff right now you're asleep man there's you sleep, all right. You niggas not woke, man. Everybody has a hashtag woke, but yet no no people, none of these people who claim to be hashtag awoke know their own nationality. They don't even know um the the name of the heavenly Father and their Savior. You know, which you know, he's not their Savior because they're not woke. All right, being woke is being woken up to this truth and knowing that you're an Israelite, knowing that you need to repent for the sins that you committed. And how do we, as men, how do we uh, repent for these sins? You know, you pray, you fast, and, uh, you you know, read the scriptures, you know, and try to live by the, watch these videos that we put out, man. Try to live according, you know, to this, to this world, not to the world that we are, our flesh is in at all right now, but the spiritual world, all right? And for you women, is to get you a man of the Lord, all right? Because that's the only way you're going to be saved, all right? By being with a the, with the man in the Lord. If you don't have a man in the Lord, cover up your head, all right, and pray. Cover up your head and pray to the Most High, which his name is Yahweh. But you have to pray to him through the name of Yahweh Shai, which is the, our our Savior. It's simple. You women, you have you you have a, a role in this world, and you don't want to you don't want to use it. Your role is more simple than the men's. All right, it's shut the fuck up and serve your man. That's it. All right. So I'll get that really quick since um, you know, since I already said since I said that. Is it um <sighs> all right it's second Tim this is first Timothy chapter uh, two verse fifteen notwithstanding uh she shall be saved she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. All right, so it says, notwithstanding, she shall be saved. So in order for you to be saved is, is it through trial, childbearing, meaning, meaning uh, you have to have a man who's uh, a man of the Lord, who's serving um, in his truth. Now, when that time comes, the Most High can send you, you know, he'll, he'll hook you up with a man uh, that's pushing his truth. Because the scriptures say in Isaiah chapter 4 verse 1, in that day seven women should cling on to one man. All right, one man that you're going to be clinging on to is a man that's going to receive his salvation and you will receive your salvation through him. All right. But only if you, uh, only well, you know, only if you, you know, you've been deemed a woman, a woman worthy of being saved, you know, because um, I believe it's was it Corinthians. This is actually going off topic, all of this, but you know what? The spirit is leading me here, so. Uh, 11, I believe. Um, might be 14. So it looks close, though. I can't get it, but you know what? Um, you know, you women just gotta, you know, be silent in the churches, man. Actually, yeah, hold on, let me see. First Corinthians, right? First Corinthians, fourteen. I think it's thirty-four. Yeah. Uh, 
Well, you know what? This is about being silent in the churches. But, um... We'll, we'll just get back on the topic. Because really the topic is about not loving this world. Um, so... So I get a little bit tired. So we're gonna go back into uh, you know not loving this world because hey man, it's easy to get caught up in this world, man. You know, you might have a conversation with a loved one, and that loved one might be trying to steer you, you know, back into the world, you know, so you can live your dreams, and follow your goals and stuff like that. I mean, you know, it's cool to have goals and whatnot, like little small goals set up. You know, that's going to actually help you actually live in this world, you know, for like and for the you know, time being, but not to prosper in this world. You're not looking to prosper in this world. All right. We don't need to be rich in this, in this society. Why would, why do we need that for like the most High give us um, the Adawan Pala, which is the Lord's Prayer, which means which which in the prayer we're going to say um, to give, um, you know, I ask, ask that the Heavenly Father, um blesses us with with our daily bread which means it's only enough to survive you know what i'm saying um and that's what our people are going through man we're mainly just people you know who just have enough just to survive man enough to get us through the day man you know you never really have an abundant much of anything you know it's, it's not it's not a sin to be a hard worker and to have things man but um you know the more you get the more you gain in this world the more you love this world you know, and that's the truth, man. You know, you have a whole bunch of worldly possessions, man. You know, you, you're going to be like, damn, I want to get more, you know. And you just keep getting more and more. And it never stops, man. It's a demon on you that you need to, um, that you need to tame. So, uh, let's go back. Because we, we need to go back to Romans. Because Romans chapter 13, verse 11, it says, and that now, and, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. And if you look at, look, man, all these earthquakes and hurricanes, these rumors of wars and rumors of wars. Come on, man. Like, how do y'all not know this? This Holy Bible is real, man. Come on. This stuff is happening on biblical proportions. So all you naysayers and you scoffers out there. Yo, what do you, what, what say ye now, man? All right. Matthew chapter 24, right? Verse 6, because we're talking about when, when the second coming of who you call Jesus Christ comes back, right? His name is Yahweh Shai. It says, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. All right, are we not hearing about wars and rumors of wars? Absolutely. See that ye be not troubled, for these things must come uh, must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, all right? Race riots, all right? And kingdom against kingdom, all right? Or, uh, um, wars, you know? Or battles between uh, these different countries. All right, Donald Trump versus uh, uh Vladimir Putin and and um um the Prime Minister of Israel uh Israel versus uh uh Syria and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? All right, and 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 there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Are we not seeing this? All right, all these are the beginning of sorrows. Now, when you look up, um, they got um pictures of uh. That, that last uh, hurricane, you know, hold on one second. Images of, oh shit, you know, Salaki, I guess I'm not hooked up to the internet right now. But um, I was going to put images of the last uh, hurricane that just happened not too long ago. And you see uh, a woman with her two kids and she's running right, uh, running through the streets, you know, in, in the flood. That's beautiful, man. Hey man, that's that's beautiful, man. Barakati Yahabashim Yah Shai, because that's judgment. That's what you get, man. These women, yo, it says uh, scriptures say, rise up, you you women that are at ease. These women are at ease, man. That's why these women are allowed to uh, to choose whatever men they want, and uh and they make poor decisions as far as choosing these different men. You know what I'm saying? And these women can walk around with their head high, all right. And men got to look down, can't even look at them without being uh, called a creep or someone who's a womanizer or a sexual harassment. You know what I'm saying? Cause these women are at ease. They can walk around with their flip flops on, got them furry ass sandals and shit, you know, and painted toenails. You know, they just just delicate as can be, huh? You know what I'm saying? But yet, all hell's about to break loose, you know. And when that time comes, they're not gonna be proud no more, man. They're at ease. They're not gonna be at ease no more. These these damn women, man. All right, they're gonna be put to death. There's a lot of them gonna be put to death and get scared at, at seeing 
there's a lot of women that's gonna be scared at seeing a lot of different women getting raped and put to death and whatnot and yo they gonna want to cling on to a man man that's why the scripture is saying isaiah 4 and 1 man in that day shall seven women take hold of one man all right you you damn women gonna learn when that time comes that we we are the are, are the powers on the earth man all right and you're gonna bow down to that and you're not gonna have no choice and you're gonna love it all right because who else is going to protect you? Who else is going to save you? You can't save yourself, all right? You, you, your, your, your families are all broken up, all right? Your fathers are a bunch of pussies that uh that that uh that worship your mother, all right? Your uncles are the same thing. They worship your aunts or, or whatever women they got. So uh, there ain't no real men in, in these families. You, 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 you women like light-skinned dudes with curly hair and, and pretty eyes, all right? Not talking about... Uh, in general, it's like, oh, that can't be a man of the Lord or a man that's all uh, that's a real man. No, I'm just talking about just the the the, the um kind of like you know whatever personality comes with that look that you're looking for when you you just like you you give you give you kind of give up on all things that you know you should be going after as far as uh, finding a man. You you just go straight for the uh, the light skin, the pretty eyes, and the curly hair. Like you, you like a man that looks like a female, so you know what. You know, he has the long hair going down his back and shit. So, you know what? That's what you're going to get. You're going to get a fucking pussy. You know? You got, you got this nigga with long ass fucking hair going all the way down his damn, damn back. You know what I'm saying? He puts it in a ponytail so he's cute. Or he got some curly hair and shit. Or some, you know, some good hair. You know? He's he's light skinned. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's what you women, like, a lot of you women like. Now, a lot of you women, like, you like dark skinned men. Okay, well, check it out. You women who like dark skinned men, you like these niggas. Now, you might like a more manlier looking dude. You know, he might have a beard on his face. He's dark skinned. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, not that a light skinned dude can't be uh, manly too, but, like, you know, he, he's going to have a beard on his face, most likely, if he's a, a man of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's the type of man you, sh you should start off. Like, oh, he has a beard. Oh, he, he's so. so what else? Oh, he doesn't eat pork. Oh, okay, cool, cool. You know, okay, he's he's a hard worker. Okay, that shows a lot. That's what you should be going after. You know what I'm saying? Whether he be dark skinned or light skinned, but you women is just clearly it's like, oh, you know, he's light skinned, he's cute, da da da. Oh, you know, he doesn't really have a good job, but whatever. You know, I, I got a good job, so I'm it's, I'm good enough for both of us. You know, he's uh, oh he smokes weed. That's see, that's good. He got tattoos. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I'm looking for. Tattoos. You know, he smokes weed. You know what I'm saying? So, he got curly hair, nice eyes. Like, come on, man. How is a nigga like that going to protect you? You know what I'm saying? Smokes weed all day, plays video games. You know, and if, and if it's a dark-skinned man that you into, he, he got to smoke weed, have tattoos. You know, he, he looks a little rugged, but he's just a grimy-ass nigga, man. This dark-skinned nigga is a goddamn crust booger, yo. This nigga is a, yo, he's a, a big-time drug dealer. You know, selling drugs to his people. Like, come on, man! You can't, you can't love stuff like that. Oh, let's top You know, topic of this this uh, show is just gonna be about um, you know, just gonna say um, various topics, man. Cause I'm just going all over the place right now, and it's and it's what's going through my spirit, man. You know, cause I, cause I fucking hate this world, man. You know, it's a lot. Excuse my language, man. But this world, man, this place needs to be destroyed, man, so we can get the kingdom. I'm tired. Uh, the elders, apostles, the elders are tired. I'm telling, I'm saying I'm tired, and I haven't even been in this thing that long. Imagine the apostles and elders. Man, we gotta get the hell out of here, man. All right, scriptures say this, man. That's why we gotta get the hell out of here. This is Daniel chapter seven, verse twenty-five, and it says, "And the kingdom of, of oh, it's like you. And it says, "And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out, the, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And who are the saints of the Most High?" Uh, um, these so-called blacks, Native American, and Latinos. You're the saints of the Most High, man. All right. It, it, it's it's us, man. We're 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 the tired ones, man. You got you see these goddamn heathens. Even the, now, it's crazy because for a long time they weren't really tired. They see them like goddamn these niggas work. Oh, God. like don't get me wrong. Like Jake, you so-called blacks, Native American, Latinos. We work our asses off, man. We're we we fucking work hard. We we've been we've been slaves for uh for all these different kingdoms, man. You know, so we we're hard workers, but these damn heathens, it's like they don't get tired, man. It's just work, 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 and it's like, yo, do these niggas even sleep? You know what I'm saying? But you look at them today, man, they're fucking tired, man. You see these damn people, man, they're tired, man, but they're not the saints, so it doesn't matter. But they love this goddamn world and the so-called white man. Well, you know what? The so-called the, the the system that the so-called white man has put in place for them, that's the same system that's gonna kill them, man. 
All right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and he speak, and he he shall speak great words against the Most High. That's that's the so called white man, which is Esau, man. All right, Esau speaks against the Most High and pretends like he is the Most High. All right, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. Yeah, he wears us out, man. You know, because all this goddamn work constantly, all we do is work, 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 like a goddamn Rihanna song. You know, just goddamn played out Rihanna song, man. Just work, 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 work. Like I, like yo. It's time to go, man. That's why Romans 13, 11 says, and that knowing the time, that now is um, the um, is our salvation nearer than when we believe, man. Because we're going to rejoice and get the hell out of here, man. No more, you know, de depression. No more, uh, no anxiety. You know, no more uh, uh, pedophilia and homosexuality, all right, and bestiality and out of order ass women and children, man. All right, these little punk ass kids out here, man. They Goddamn punks, man. All right, you women not gonna be able to choose the man you want anymore. All right, you're gonna have a, a real man, and you're gonna you're gonna love that shit, man. And I say that with 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 100 truth. You are going to love it, man. Like I'm not even saying that to be like mean to you. You're gonna love it. You literally are going to love it. You're gonna be like, yo, what is this? This is what men are supposed to be like. Like why have why didn't I ever where, why didn't I choose a man of the Lord before? Why was I choosing these niggas? You know, that are, that are they're, they're nobody niggas are just bums, man. All right. And why was I going after these niggas who 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 perceive to be like some people because they are or, or somebody in this world because they have money, nice car, you know, or jewelry and, and or, or high status, you know, in, in, in a society. You know, he's a basketball player, football rapper, all this shit. And these niggas is pussies the whole time. All right. These niggas take it up the butt because they faggots, you know, and, and they and they they worship Satan. All right. They got to make um um. They gotta make blood sacrifices. They might kill your ass, you know, to make to stay in this to stay on top in this world. You y'all niggas y'all going after these men that worship Satan, man. All right, whether they know it or not, you know these low level niggas out here or these high level niggas out here. So you women are gonna love that shit. You're gonna be like, wow, like this is what the Most High has prepared for us the whole time, real men, and you're gonna love it, man. Come on, yo, you know, you know that time is coming, man. It's Proverbs chapter 29, right? Verse 2. And it says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. So why is everybody in a state of mourning right now? Because the wicked beareth rule. That's why you have um overdoses like at, at the high rate as it is, at the most alarming rate that it is right now. Because people are, are so uh, depressed that they have to take all these drugs and stuff. So why is that? Let's find out why that is. Who's the wicked? Job chapter 9 verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, wherein who is he? So the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. That's the so-called white man. You know what I'm saying? They rule the world. If not, it says, look, he covers the faces of the judges thereof. In order to get the so-called white man um uh, uh to be um to be uh portrayed as who you call Jesus Christ and the most high himself, and all the angels and all the prophets and Mary and all these different uh uh, biblical characters then 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 you have to rule the world because they have that image plastered throughout all uh, uh all over the world whether it be in people's houses as shrines they have the picture on the wall all throughout these different churches all over the windows and and and, and the ceiling and the big jesus christ thing with on the cross and and uh, the passions of the christ movies and different cartoons uh memorabilia uh memorabilia um uh what souvenirs and whatnot you know different um you know, pamphlets and stuff. They always have, uh, you know, so-called white people on it. Because they're the ones, because they rule the fucking world. What, what don't you people understand, man? What don't you people get, man? <laughs> you know, you goddamn scoffers, man. But you know what you're going to see real soon, man. So with that, I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rokhah, Kadash. Double honors to my apostles that orders a great millstone who were well. Taught us this truth and taught us and warned us of the things to come. The prophecies you see unfolding today, such as World War Three. um, Famine, all right. Famine of food, water, and the word, all right. Pestilences, earthquakes in diverse places, race wars, and and so on, man. All right. Peace and salutation to hopeful like all right. Pushing the truth and sincerity through water for which I do. We love you. We appreciate you through the spirit of y'all, Bashem, y'all shy. The water for teaching us and edifying us. All right, edifying us daily. All right, and and, and shalom.